In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this ugly Christmas sweater design right here so that you can start getting Christmas sales for Q4. Let's go! Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that is something you like to do, make sure you subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to talk about ugly Christmas sweater designs. So I'm going to do all these designs in Affinity Designer. You're going to want to stay to the end to see how I do it, as well as another edition of Trend Credits. So there's lots of different ways to do the ugly Christmas sweater design on t-shirts. There's Photoshop plugins. There's places you can go like Playset where they do it for you. My method is going to be using squares in Affinity Designer to kind of give it that pixel look, that old 8-bit look. You'll see what I mean when we get into it. So let's get into Affinity Designer right now. So here we are in Affinity Designer. So you can see I'm here on a file that I already did. I call it my ugly Christmas pixel art file. So you can see I have all these different things that I made here. And it's really easy to make. They're all just squares. So if you zoom in here, you can see these are just squares after square. This is another square type where I'm putting it diagonally, squares, squares. So different patterns of squares that I made. It takes a little while to do, but it's really easy. So it, it takes time, but it's really easy because all you're doing is taking a square and lining it up against another square, right? So you can see here, just different patterns of squares. I'm calling these my borders. And then these are my objects. So you can see I built some smaller ones. These are kind of like snowflakes and bigger snowflakes and even bigger snowflakes with squares. So kind of intricate patterns here, which takes a little while to do. But once you have them, you have the asset. So you have all this clip art available for you. I made some deer here with some squares and some Christmas trees and a present and a couple of hearts. So you can do a lot more stuff than this, but this is all I have right now. And it's actually enough to build what we're going to build today. So think of that right there. So that I'm not going to show you how to build all of those. You can just see that it's squares put on a diagonal and stuff. So the thing I'm going to show you is how I put it all together to make an ugly Christmas sweater pattern. So here we go. The first thing I like to do is actually start with text. So I don't have fonts here, but you can find free pixel fonts on the internet, I'll show you where to do that right now. So there's this font website, you might've heard of it, it's called thefont.com. And there's a lot of free fonts on here, but you need to be careful. So some of them are free for personal use. That's not what we want. We want free for commercial use or 100% free. And let me show you what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna search just for pixel fonts. So you can type it in, pixel font right here. You can also do pixel bitmap right here if you didn't see it. So I'll do this first, search pixel, and we're going to scroll down. You can see that's 100% free. Uh, let's see, 100% free. I like that one, pixeled. Um, I'm looking for something a little thicker, though. So no, that's not 100% free. This one's kind of thick, yeah. I pixel you, 100% free. Um, let's go to page two. I'll just show you another one. You can go through all of these and find it. This is where I found a lot of my fonts, but um, yeah. So a lot, a lot of good fonts here. No, that's for personal use. Let's, let's just do one more. There's a lot actually. So you just have to, it takes time again to look at it. Oh, Chemco Pixel, that's really cool. 100% free, good. So all you do is download and then save it to your computer and then you can use it. So I'm gonna use some of these free fonts that I downloaded from the font and let's get back into Affinity Designer. So we're back in Affinity Designer. Now that we have the fonts, we're ready to put this all together. So first we need a phrase. I have this here on the naughty list. So I'm just gonna pull this over here. I'm gonna use that Chemco Pixel font that we just saw. Um, I'll just type in here, Chemco Pixel. And I wanna just do on the, whoops, naughty list like this. Good, all right. And then I wanna just make it a lot bigger, center align it. So 
I've made my artboard to the size of Merchant Former, which is 4,500 by 5,400 here. So I'm, I'm kind of putting it in that area on the naughty list. I want to make this the same color as my artwork here. So let's just make that, that red. All right, so the next thing is, and I regret nothing. I'm just going to start typing here. And I regret nothing like that. But I'm going to use a different font for here just to add variety. So I'm going to use it, the iPixel U font that we saw earlier. iPixel U, there we go. And all caps. Regret nothing. There we go. I'm going to make this one a little smaller like that. Make this one bigger like that. And then I'm going to put things around it. So make sure these two are centered. There we go on there. Okay. So the next thing I like to do is put a border on top and a border on bottom. Uh, I like this big border here. We can choose any one, but let's just do that holding option and drag here. So I put some guidelines just so I know where to put it there. And this nice thick, uh, maybe this one, I'll just use this one here. Make sure that is down like that. Cool. And then I'm just gonna copy and drag and flip it so that it's the same thing, but in reverse there. So there's my border, it's looking nice. Now I'm gonna use some objects. So let's look over here. Okay, I'm gonna use this, this deer here, option drag, and maybe just put it right here. That looks like it works. And then I'm gonna flip this one here like that. So that seems to have some nice balance there. Um, there's a white space here. So all I'm doing is starting to fill in the white space with bigger things. So you see I use the big fonts first and then the border is my next biggest object. The deer is pretty big. And so I'm going to use some other things that are bigger here. Uh, maybe this tree in this thing right here. Does this fit? Yeah. Yeah, let's put that right here. Put that here. That looks good. Um, let's use something different for the middle. You know what? Let's use this heart here. That's looking cool. All right. So the next thing I want to do is maybe fill up this space down here. I'm going to do like this big Christmas tree or something. Let's see. Um, no, that's too big. So let's use a smaller Christmas tree. Well, that could fit right there. So let's do that. Let's see, there's a space right here we could fill in. So maybe that would be the same Christmas, we could do the same Christmas tree up there. Yeah, that works. And now I can use these guides to make sure I'm not going outside of it. All right, that's looking good. And maybe some other pattern, maybe some other small pattern here. Let's use, let's use this guy. Does he fit? Yeah. So you can see it's almost done. It still has some white space here. So what I like to do is to fill it with these kind of snowflakes. So I'm gonna use just this one right here. Drag it across. And I'm gonna just eyeball it. So let's say it starts here and it kind of follows this pattern here at the top. Let's do that. Drag, cool, and then in the middle, I'm just gonna also drag it down here. Maybe line it up with this letter here. You know, try and fill in that space in the middle. 
and then I'm going to bring it down and then move it to the edge here. Same thing with this one to the edge here. And then I'm going to just copy these and kind of just eyeball it, bring it down like that. Yeah. So same thing. So I could do the same thing on the other side. And just so I, it matches, I'm just going to take all of this, move it here, and flip it. That's looking good. So there's still some white spaces in between where I'm going to just start filling in. Just randomly eyeball this. You don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you can if you want to. But nobody's going to be checking that, hey, this thing didn't line up. There you go. On the naughty list, and I regret nothing. Really simple when you have all these patterns made for you, you can do that real quick. So the, this is on white. So what I like to do is put it on red as well. So the way you can do that is because it's all shapes, now you can just do a red background, put that in the back and select everything else but the background and turn that white or any color, yellow would work well to, I mean, you could do a couple of things. You could do it all white like this, and you could take the text, make the text yellow or vice versa, you know, just have fun with it. So white's just the easiest to see on red, but if you wanna play around with the colors as well, there you go. So that's on the naughty list and I regret nothing. You can see I could do any text here and use any of these things and mix match so it won't look the same every time. You can have a different pattern every time with different words and you can just have fun with it. So this is just an easy way you can do it yourself by making your own clip art and using free fonts. So just really good way to do that and, and easy. You see we did it in less than 10 minutes here and you can put this together really quick. So that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. I've been thinking about doing this video for a while. I wanted to teach you how to do this because ugly Christmas sweater designs do really well during the holidays. And I wanted to make sure that you knew how to do it so that you can get some sales in Q4. Hopefully it was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. Thanks so much for staying till the end. Your reward is another edition of Trend Credits. Thank you all for staying to the end for Trend Credits. Here is your trend. Dear Santa 2020 shirt. So there's lots of different ways you can do that. You can say, Dear Santa, I blame 2020. Dear Santa, I blame 2020 for all the F-bombs or whatever. Um, let's see. Dear Santa, it was 2020's fault. I blame 2020. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. Um, my DS Amazon quick view isn't working really well. You can see it's just not showing the rank, but these do have low BSRs. Let me show you this one right here. 181,000. So, you know, some of these have very low BSRs. Let me show you Merchant Former. It's getting an A. So you can see some of these are doing 51 sales here, 38 sales here. So it's a good one to do. Um, just not having the DS Amazon Quick View working right now. Again, Merch Informer. I have a link in the description for Merch Informer. You get all these different things. They have a great sale right now. So, Dear Santa 2020, that is your trend for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.